are with Superintendent Stephen Maddox here at the police headquarters and a press release has been made. Um, we'll actually run that here first and explain what's happening. This operation is called? Operation Strongbox. Okay, and this is what uh, seems to said a few minutes ago. On Monday the 28th of June 2021 and in readiness for the relaxation of border restrictions, an operation involving police and customs officers will be launched with the intention of deterring and detecting criminal activity such as drug trafficking, money laundering and other types of cross-border activity undertaken by organised criminal groups. The operation will have various aspects including visible activity at the Sea Terminal and Ronalds Way Airport. We will also monitor all of the island's ports including freight activity, fishing boats and vessels and aircraft. As part of our multi-agency approach, teams from the Cabinet Office will be checking documentation to ensure that residents and visitors are complying with the new regulations that are coming into force and they are eligible to enter the island. It is essential you are aware of the travel requirements and documentation that you will need to complete in order to travel in and out of the island. For further information, please visit the Government's COVID website. Most of our community will be largely unaffected by the low number of crimes that happen on the island or indeed be unaware of much, much of the activity that we undertake to tackle it. The COVID pandemic does not stop the illegal supply of controlled drugs, cash leaving our shores or the threats of violence towards members of our community, some of which who are vulnerable uh, and become embroiled in crime. We have both, both overt and covert police officers on patrol around the island and at the sea, air and fishing ports. A safe island has strong borders and we will update you periodically on the phases of this operation. We enjoy a great sense of community with relatively low levels of crime and we intend to keep it that way. Travelling and island based criminals, you've been warned. Okay, so let's put some meat on the bones on that one. I mean, you're, you're worried about the, the criminals coming in. You've already flagged that thing last week. There's a potential build-up of people owing money to drug barons that's, and that sort of thing. That's correct, yeah. Um, the, um, the, the world of criminal activity hasn't stopped during COVID, um, and there's people um, who have uh, built up quite a bit of debt in, in relation to some of the, the, the drugs debts that they have. Uh, and we want to reassure our island um, and any travelling criminal or people who are involved in criminality on the island that we're going to be focusing our attention to them to make sure that we keep everyone safe. Well, you've never had more control over who's coming in because at the minute everyone's got to show an ID. Now that hasn't been the case in the past. You must be quite happy about that. There's got QR codes. So you've got a lot of intel this time around. Yeah, I mean the, the Cabinet Office are in charge of the people who are coming into the island for, for, for the purpose of public health reasons. We are, we are there in addition to that to, to focus on criminals, not, not, not the everyday people were there to focus on p p people that will potentially exploit the island's borders uh, being open again. So much higher visibility at the ports? Yes, there will be um, around the airport, the seaport and also the fishing ports and, and there'll also be a covert presence so the, the p people will, might not see us. Right. And for the first time you know, people bring their cars in and you, you'll be interested let's say that on, on your intel you get from the cross as well yeah and um, obviously we work with our colleagues um in the northwest mm. um and if we have intelligence that uh, somebody is, is coming to the island and we're interested in them then we'll focus our attention on them and if someone's watching this who is one of those people that is going to be in trouble what do you suggest they should do um in in trouble from from a well, from both a sides threat. really i'm thinking about any of the drug barons coming in, but also someone here who's waiting for a call from someone who they owe money to. Yeah, anyone who feels threatened or vulnerable, I would encourage them to contact the police and, and we can do everything we can to try and help them. Um, I would say to people who are going to look to exploit the island, i.e. criminals, um, we, we, um, we are quite... Um, expert in some of our uh, techniques, uh, law enforcement techniques, but also the, the sentencing that courts deliver on the Isle of Man for drug trafficking offences are considerably higher than they are um, in, in, in England and Wales. And of course recently changed for uh, cannabis, or on the way to being changed, isn't it? Yeah, what we saw during the COVID pandemic is that the, the supply lines of drugs has changed. So rather than people bringing them to the island in person, they've been sending them through couriers and through postal systems. Um, the sentencing uh, laws for cannabis um, were reviewed and you'll probably see, you, you, you've reported on it, um, that there'll be stiffer sentences for people who supply cannabis and are involved in the, um, 
the dealing of cannabis. So finally, just are we expecting to see headlines of lots of blues and twos and you know cars going around, whizzing around, mopping up, or do you think this warning is doing the, going to do the trick? We, we're hoping that this warning is going to send a, a message out to people to know what our stance is on it. Um, we, we will continue to, to do what we do, which is island-based community policing, um, and we want to make sure that people understand um, who might be vulnerable, that we're there to help them, and people who think they're going to exploit it will be there to, to catch them.